You know, Bill okay. and Jerry, it's getting a little late. Why don't you hit the road? Oh! <laughs> yeah. I gotta. Here we go. Yeah. Look at West. Look at look, 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 look. He's like, ooh. Somebody go ooh. get it. You go get it. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and I'm here with the beautiful Michael Claire. What time is it? What time? Episode four. Hey, this is your first time watching with us. Don't worry, there'll be a link in the description so you can catch up with some of the previous episodes. Hey, maybe even the previous season. Oh. You enjoying it so far? Oh, absolutely. And I'm make, excited. Yes. Make sure you <laughs> stay towards the end because we're going to address some of your questions and have a really good review, and we'll show you a way that you can have a better viewing experience. So, without any further ado. Let's get started. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I knew you were waiting for it. I thought we were supposed to be the cover. Oh. Oh. Here has the boys in warm blue close out. Dang. Oh. Leave it a chance. Now don't buy stuff. Dang at halftime yet, too. That score can be deceiving. Well, I mean, we got a new version of magic now. That's true. Fine. No one holds. But Larry's on. The the yeah. Ooh, Fucking thing. Hey. Uh, that's called motivation. That's what yeah, that is. Yeah, that's what that is. Struggle with the system all through camp, but then you get it on the floor. It is a symphony. It's an exhibition against their bench. Ooh, against their wee. bench. Don't give our subs a look. We still need to decide who fills out that last roster spot. We did that already. Mikey? Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's not Kurt Rambis? So far. What? He said he's you're cutting Rambus. He, he's effort. This kind of shit that wins games. Oh, our issue. He does not care. It's not your issue. What are Norm Nixon, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jamal Wilkes, and Magic Johnson doing in a classroom with Laker coach Paul Westhead? Oh. Uh, hmm. Got us playing like robots running in his damn spot. That's not your spot. Where's your spot? Out there. I put a spot in that motherfucker. I ain't keep yelling at me. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Go do some of that crack talk. I'm the cracker. <laughs> You're the cheese. What? I don't know. I don't uh, get that. I know. I'd be like, I'm the sausage. I don't know what you're talking about. Publicity. <laughs> fucking telling the whole fucking world our captain's a fucking douchebag. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh hey. <laughs> it's like, ooh, my bad. Probably that long hair. He'd be motherfucking Rambus. Oh my god. We could have him the first fucking week. Wow. He's now he's way. gonna change. I see that for one second. He's gonna change it now because of Excuse that. Me, sorry. You know that, right? Uh, uh. Cause he's a spiteful dude. Mm-hmm. Wow. We'll start engraving the trophy. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, Bill. Come on, Jerry. Wow. Wow. First race. Bye, Jerry. Yeah, see you guys. Hey, look at that. He struggles. He just spite. Yeah, don't snap at me, homie. Hey, Rambus. So he is getting cut, or is he getting? Yeah. No, he's not. Remember? Oh, okay. Because of the spite. Yeah. I can't approve it fast enough. Nothing makes me happier than watching you piss away your fortune. You used to be ahead of the mm. curve, Red, but now you're about ten steps behind. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, but halftime is almost over, and you got enough to worry about with the team getting whooped. Preseason bus, nobody gives a shit. Yeah. <laughs> no one but you and me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said, oh, not the decks in the dirt. Ooh. Oh, goddamn times. Oh. Mom had smoked a cigarette before he went out there. Thank well, you. the variety you got, right? Jack Jackson. Jackson. We got him yeah. on the run. Up. The angles, the colors. We picked that up real quick, didn't it? That's good casting. Yeah, it was. Larry about to bust that. Oh, he about to bust them You're about up. to be like this. Ca -ca! Yeah. <laughs> Larry about to bust them up. Magic signs lifetime contract mm -hmm. with Lakers. Wow. A lot. 25 million for 25 years. Wow. And he knew all the info. Dr. Bus. He said, why don't you, you make the same deal with Larry? Contract? Told you, boys. It's an extension. <gasps> oh, here. Ooh, look at him. Million for mm. 25 years. Ooh, wee. Would be that. Well, let's say, uh, oh. wasn't supposed to come movie. out, yeah. especially yeah, to sure. the team. Yeah. Who leaked it? So, Doc, yeah. the, you know who leaked it. Right back to the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Boston yeah. owner. Ah. Uh. Yeah, he leaked it because remember, he said he's part of the committee. Yeah. They got to clear it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Ooh, I can't lie. If I were one of the I would be heated. You feel some kind of way. Oh, I'd be livid. <laughs> uh oh. Hero Here we go. Magic Let's hit the fan. Of Magic Johnson's new epic deep. Johnson Jr., the show stuff from the highest paid athlete in the world. Highest wow. paid athlete in the world. A basketball team is like a family. Yeah. You pick out any one member and say, this is my favorite child. It's inevitable that others will begin to wonder, 
whether or not they belong. Very true. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's facts. I would consider playing as New York, right? I've always oh, felt like the people there. there appreciate quality basketball. Oh. And I can provide that. He's putting wow. it out there. Sure did. I'm not mad at that though. Mm. I mean, what else? What do you expect? They don't like it. Get in line. Fuck them. Mm. What if he tries to get it from another team? He's not gonna do that. He already fucking did. Yeah, he ain't talking to the press, man. He's talking to the Knicks. Mm. Mm. Well, I'll talk to him first. When am I sitting down with him at Benihana? He rescheduled. Oh, hey. Fuck. Mm. Benihana. It has to be me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm his coach. Right? Like, but you have no rapport. You just told him and every other player on my team that magic is more important. I think you mean my team. Facts. Yeah, yeah, that I thought that. Yeah. I thought that when he said it. But I'm the one who has to coach it. And that's been hard enough as it is. I'm looking forward for him to get the boot. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. You know, Bill, okay. Jerry, it's getting a little late. Why don't you hit the road? Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta. Here we go. Yeah. Look at West. Look at look, 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 look. He's like, like, ooh. Somebody go ooh. get it. You go get it. <laughs> you asked for a million dollars. I gave you that. That's a lot of money from Paul, Coach. This is a speed bump. Don't whine to me about it. Figure it out. That part. I'll promise you that I'll bring you uh, another trophy. Well, Paul, mm. if you don't. If I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. You're going to go, homie. And you're going to be looking for a new job. Yep. That part. Sounds like we're in this together then, huh? Better, pull your big, better put your big boy pants on. Well, he's hey, asking. Paul, I'm the king. Yes. We're not in it together. Woo-wee. Yeah. It's just basketball. You got to love a hairy chest back in the 80s, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. No, back in nah, the 80s. Nah, 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 nah homie. It's just the contract. Contract. Mm. Fuck you think we stupid? Right. You part owner of this damn team now. Ain't like that. No, oh, it it is a little bit. Same as any y'all would. That's true too, would. though. That, I mean, that's facts. Look, this I would have said a good yes. Thing. Wouldn't you? Speak for yourself, man. Would what? you have said yes if it was offered to you? Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. Won't be happy till everything else go your way. Go run. Tell daddy. Man, fuck you. Ain't enough money in the contract for that, bruh. <laughs> you got the boss man saying it for you. I'm just doing business. That's true. Maybe you can learn something. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to coach. Straighten everything out. Ooh mm. wee. Big yeah. money talk to big money. Y'all just shut up. Let Richie Rich here take care of all our problems. Wow. Mad ain't you. Yep. Facts, mm -hmm. though. Telling y'all. This don't change nothing. Now that's not Gentlemen. the truth. No, money always Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Power, it's power. The only thing that solves these, these kind of issues is winning. You get contracts like that, you bring in home chips, then, then you, you can't get really more, say nothing. Well, and then you get more contracts, yeah. yeah. As Victor Frankl said, what does not kill me? Ugh, this dude. It's true though. Every play. Look at magic. Every game, no deviation. Anyone who has a problem with that is gonna find a home Next to me, on the bench. Mm, I don't know about that, bro. Not with a $25 million lifetime. Magic taking his time at the top of the key, searching. Boy, the offense is slow Magic tonight. ain't gonna give you West no ball, emerging. homie. Magic finally with a move to the basket, but he turns it over. Woo! But see, that's the thing. See, remember we talked about it. If you're gonna go against the system, uh -huh. then you gotta at least be scoring some baskets. <laughs> that part. And so much I feel you. Yeah. A new year underway, the same way last one ended with a loss to the Rockets. Oh, they lost. Uh, not thinking all the time, running no damn spots. So what do you say to that? That's mm. not your spot. Your, where's your spot? Mm. Not there. Oh my gosh. That's very but aggravating. out there trying to make this Remember dumb shit phones? work. How am I supposed to run the show when those I got to stop? Those phones, those those old yeah. I think came out back then. 81? Yeah. He's a millionaire. He got him ahead That's of everybody. True. That's very true. This franchise disrespected you. After all that you've given it. Mm. Wow. You'd be well within your rights to hold a grudge. Wow. Mm. You undermining the whole, the, mm, the whole organization? Ain't the magic man. Who be hot? Who need a shot? With a mismatch? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go and rub some people the wrong way. Yeah. I like Hooper, though. Cool, cool, at least keep it real. 
Yeah, I mean, and Blame it's me all for some truth. Shit they love to have. Wouldn't they one of them say no, bust? And see, that's the thing, like, too. one of them. Back up. Ooh -wee. Mm. And they're not losing by a lot. That's the sad part. I'm supposed to be getting that love from you. Oh, my gosh. She's going to turn <laughs> no, him like that. that. I know. Shot, I know. I know. She, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You out there killing yourself and we still losing by 26? It might help me if other people play their roles. Mm. You think I ain't trying? Out there running the same way, moving to the same spots? Ain't how we won the whole damn thing with McKinney, remember? Mm. Yeah. Shrunk the ego a little bit. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it's time you took the same advice. Oh. I thought you quit. Stress, bro. Wish I could. <laughs> okay. Ooh, is he talking Just about cigarettes or is he I'm talking about the position? Okay. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That'll work wonders. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. What? Mm -hmm. His ego is just a pile of poo. Mm. <laughs> I understand that you don't get it, but if you compromise Ooh. any aspect of the system, then the system is compromised. It requires a total buy-in. That means you too. Mm. I understand. Yes, Kareem is also called Captain, but that's a nickname. You understand what I'm trying to say? I'm the fucking boss. I Damn. am in charge, not Magic fucking Johnson. Ooh. Finish. Right? Mm hmm. That part. Come on, boss. I mean, I gotta spell this out. He wishes lost control of the team. I mean, the guys don't respect him. Back to six games. That's five fucking more than I needed to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fucking algebra, man. It's mm. fucking ball. I mean, he's got magic so mixed up, he wouldn't even get on the goddamn bus in San Antonio. Oh, okay. Okay, now we built this fucking team to win. Okay? I agree with that. Right, I'll talk to him again. There's no talking <laughs> to him. No. Yeah. Just let us shake the tree, see who falls out. Yeah, just have a fucking little, little rustle round. <laughs> rustle round. Johnson's a fucking winner, okay? And hell, Westhead, even he got lucky. But things change. Mm -hmm. Don't make yeah. good decisions, bad ones, because your pride got mixed up in it. That part. My pride? pride? My pride has got jack shit to do with that. Okay. All in, because that's what you do when you believe you have a winner. And that's what I've done with this team. I believe in it. Not with Paul, though. Okay. Mike. Thing, boss. Oh my gosh. This Paul dude, he he is getting very aggravating to me. Yeah. You're gonna get us fired, Paul. Mm -hmm. I have authority from yeah. the boss. You have authority? Yeah, he gave Jack a four-year deal, pal. It's words. If we keep losing, mm -hmm. we're complete. I don't care. Yeah, cut his nose off to spite his face. Spite! Do you have any idea how many times I've been counted out? Huh? I sat the bench in college. Ramsey only kept me on the team because he needed a, a towel boy. Mm. Jack only hired me here because he needed somebody pliable, a dilettante. I know, I know. I lucked my way to where I'm at. Dilettante. Because I found you. Hmm. And yet somehow, somehow, I won a championship. We won a championship. Yeah, that part. Yeah. If I am going to go down, I will go down my way. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't like to be talked to any kind of way. That That'd too. be a problem for me. Hey, mm. uh, 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 love to see it after uh, a hockey uh, start to uh, the season. Three uh, quick wins uh, for the purple uh, and gold. Excuse me, Coach Whitehead has arrived. <laughs> he feeling himself. You yeah. See how they cut the Nip music? Back, yeah, they cut the music there super quick. Doctor Buzz, what kind of shirt is that? Oh, we hearts. In. Come on, I want you to meet Honey. Yeah. Um, Oh, what you say? I told you they were going to yeah. have a conversation. Well, that's not really my bailiwick, you know? Bailiwick. You, got eyes, you can see that it ain't been going right, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. He like. So. <laughs> Coach telling us exactly where to go like we don't know. He the one don't know. He ain't never played the game. Now that's true, too. Winning, squeaking by teams that we should be blowing out. Facts. It ain't showtime no more. So have you talked to Coach about this? I tried. He did try. He wanted to do it his way. That's facts too. Mm. You know I want you to be happy, right? Do you trust me? 
course. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Because you know we we partner. Oh. Let's ride this thing out for a second, all right? We'll reevaluate in a couple months, but you and I'll keep talking. We'll, we'll keep comparing notes. At least he's listening. I'll give him that. Yeah. Grab him some champagne, will you? And in the meantime, I told you we ordered in. Some of Honey's friends are in town, and they happen to be Raiderettes. <laughs> that doesn't solve the problem. That creates more problems when you get... Hey, can somebody bring me a pen so I can sign this for Jack's kids? <laughs> Just joking. No, you're not. <laughs> Some place, though, huh? I see why you like it. Because Jack knows he's fugazi. Yeah, he does. Uh, burgers, ribs, everything is fantastic. Mm. Well, you're buying. Million dollar man. Right? Mm. The Hollywood thing, you fit right in. All I ever thought about was basketball. Look where that got me. Mm. Coach of the year? Yeah. yeah. It's the matchup I've had circled, Jack. You and me both. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> I've got a flair for the dramatics, so I think you'll appreciate it. Oh, I'm going to beat your ass. That's what you... Not all at once. Halfway tonight, and the rest, the second time I see you. Mm. Back in Indiana. Mm. Mm. Well, I think I'm going to get the shoestring potatoes. <laughs> Yo, it's like, I'm the real deal, bro. Facts, though. I'm the real deal. Facts. Wings, we you, are my, you are my Chicken offspring. Wings. You're a prodigy. He just had that conversation about how underestimated he's been mm -hmm. his entire career. And then yeah. now here we are again. What's up, bro? Tell me. Uh-oh. Here we go. I see everybody else bringing it. I see you out there just going through the motions. Mm. Got your lip poked out like some kid picked last on the playground. <laughs> Long lip Lucy is what we used to call it. A star. Uh-huh. Mm. How am I supposed to be a star? When you won't let me do what made me a star. Mm. That's very true, though, too. Ain't nobody telling them to run in no fucking spots. Facts. They letting them be them. Yeah, it's frustrating. Facts. Yeah, for all of us. Mm -hmm. You're a basketball savant. Mm. But until you put your fucking heart into this thing, you have no idea if this is going to work. That's true, too, though. I'm going to expose you. Expertise. <laughs> Look. Thank you, thank you. Oh, <laughs> so he doesn't have that love and respect. What? I haven't touched the court. I know, Kurt. We're gonna play this season. We'll see. Go get a rebound, please. <laughs> Dang, homie. Ah, uh, look at the way looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> he's over there recruiting. Respect. Absolutely, as it should be. Something you are solely lacking. Look at that. They all like, ah, I love you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go, second overtime, four seconds to go. Second overtime. Mm. Putting up the Pacers' best offensive night of go. the season. And now best he offensive has the ball night of the season for the West Pacers. Out of timeout. Wow. And here we go. All right, Davis to inbound. All right, out of timeouts. Johnson's going to get this ball. And these Lakers just barely managed to survive nice. this one. And I'll tell you, Paul Weston <laughs> is going to need the jaws of life to unclench himself tonight. But, well, a win's a win, folks. <laughs> unclench, his, unclench his cheeks. <laughs> I am ready for Westhead to go now. I, I've been waiting. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for him to go. Mm. Hollywood, remember he was saying? Yeah. Better take that W. McKinney's still the reigning coach of the year, but what do you guys been growing? Think the next one could be you? Magic. Nice win. No. I guess you're finally getting the hang of the new offense, huh? Yeah, guess so. <laughs> Thanks to Pat. I feel, like my, I feel like I'm at Studio 54 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Coach over there enjoying this nightlife. What did I tell you? He's Hollywood now. He <laughs> said, yeah, you told me. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Never fold a winner. Yeah, I'm glad we held off. Yeah, well, patience is a virtue, you know. That's not what it is, homie. Huh? But it's, oh, it's such a hollow win. Me, so yeah. Win. It was. Can't argue with scoreboard. Sure we fucking can, Bill. That's what we fucking do. <laughs> That's their job. Yep. Uh-oh. Replacement. You think she's going to say yes? <laughs> Studio 54. Show me, show me that finger point. <laughs> I wonder how long they've been together. I don't know. It's 81 now. Anything jumping out of you? Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. I like the gold. It's like Lakers gold on there. No, no gold. How many carrots is that? Three. 
Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> That's a guess. I don't know. <laughs> but they shouldn't be. Oh my no god. No sign of any fancy passing. No more show. Might as well be any other bitch ass point guard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought it said they won. Mitch, good job. Fine work out there. He's oh doing my a great job. Gosh. Wow. Good job, Mitch. Where are you going? Yeah. Where the hell do you think you're drawing up the play? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He just has a problem with him, and it's super aggravating. Mm. I am here. Magic. Nice disappearing act. Mm. This is a pit is. Right? You're a bug. You live in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Ass over here, man. I said I'm listening. To hell you are, Irvin. Get your ass into my huddle, or take your ass back to the locker room. Peace out, homie. Can't repeat what we just heard courtside. Just say the fans aren't giving mm. you. They're gonna walk away and when their team out. needs it. Get back here now. Ooh, I wouldn't let him talk to me like that. Mm. Here. Would you play your own way when you went back out on the court? Okay. The basketball team is like a family. You gotta humble himself. That's what that's what Kareem was saying. Oh my folks, the, oh, the bitch. Oh, the pressure. What do you what are you gonna decide? Let me tell and you. And the something, Lakers though. dodge another bullet, Keith, pulling he out still a ain't talking to me any kind of way. Single possession, and I'll tell I can humble myself, but you ain't gonna talk to me like you're crazy. Mm. Don't do it, man. Nothing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He knows. Oh, he's gonna set him up for a fall. He didn't set him up, he's setting himself up. Yeah. Oh, he mad. He big mad. Big. Yeah. I can feel. I can feel big mad. <laughs> oh no, we ain't about to have this conversation out here. Ooh, you, don't you humiliated yourself out there. Oh. You disrespected me. You disrespected your teammates. I will not have it. That's it. <laughs> I'm tired of your crap. Mm. I am sick and tired of your horseshit attitude. And if it happens again, you will be sitting on the fucking bench. Oh, I will. Will I? Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You ain't using me right now. I might as well sit me down. There you go. If you sit, it will be my choice. If you play, it will be my choice. It's, yeah. it's a power thing. I know man. it is. Do you understand? Yeah, I wouldn't stay. I mean, he has to stay, but I'd have, a, I'd have a conversation. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you, you done? We had a, we had a productive conversation what about that's not it's not for public consumption the almond tree bears its fruit in silence what poetic <laughs> no, nobody want to hear that mess me that's a that's a paul westhead original that's the face you make when you're eating ish. No, uh, how would you know? <laughs> I don't want to know. It wasn't pretty. It was another. Not they let them in there? Yeah, yeah but you know what? You can use the press to, to add pressure. Oh, absolutely. You can. Oh, yeah, I know. None towards the fellas. Um, I love I love my teammates. I believe that. I'm going to go in the morning, talk to the man. The bus, see what he can do. What's that mean, Magic? Yeah, what would you say to him? Yeah, trade me. You got a 25. Yeah, I want to be traded. Oh, yeah. Ah! If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Centel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription, so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. That part. Oh, it's over? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I like that. I don't want it to be over. That was awesome. Wow. Well, well, here's the thing. Like, oh, well, we can have the conversation. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I like that. I mean, you know, that's the thing. Like, the thing I love about the NBA, unlike yes. unlike a lot of other leagues, is that it is a player-run league for the most part. Like, the players really have the power. And you had brought up earlier regarding, you know, does is there a players union, mm -hmm. right? And the players union has worked very hard to make it a, a players first kind of kind of league. Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing uh, seemingly uh, is a player actually getting a chance to flex that power, 
you know, you have me on the you have me on a ticket for this amount of money. I'm not happy. Something needs to be done. Absolutely. So I, I think that's that's an interesting moment in sports. I'm not sure. I'm sure this probably has happened someplace else. Mm -hmm. But as far as the show is concerned, mm -hmm. you know, it's our first time seeing that. How you feeling? Oh, I love it. I think. Uh... I, like I said, I don't like the way that Paul feels like he's in charge of everything. Because right. even Buss had to tell him, no, yo, I'm the king. Yeah. We are not on the same level. Yeah. We ain't partners, even yeah. though he told you know, <laughs> uh, Magic that everybody was partners. But he was like, oh, no, no, I'm the king. Yeah. I make the decisions. I like the fact that Magic was like, okay, I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. But then they had that confrontation and he, Paul stuck his lip out and had, you know, pulled on his big boy pants and was like, I'm in charge and you got to do what I say and only when I say. And he was like, yo, I'm still in charge of me yeah and if i don't want to play here's what we'll do yeah i think that that's the main thing yeah. you know it's one thing yeah. it's one thing to control the workplace yes it's another thing to control me as a human being exactly that's a whole different animal exactly and that's where he crossed the line like like it's like the point of no return it's like no i have station over myself yeah oh, i absolutely. am the master of my own ship yeah you just run this thing that we just liked together. yeah and i don't have to i yeah. don't have to stay here yeah and i think that that's where people get confused sometimes when they do and i had brought up the term hostile work environment just because yeah. that's a you know a term that we use in the professional world, whatever. Right. If it's a hostile work environment, I don't have to stay here. Yeah. I mean, I don't even have to play, period. I mean, I love the game, so I can look at my options, yeah. but I don't have to stay in, in this this organization. Well what, well, what does that say, you know, when you're like, you, you're giving the most lucrative contract in sports history, mm -hmm. and you'd say, my happiness is more important than me being a part of this system. Mm -hmm. Either the system changes mm -hmm. or I'll I'll leave the money behind. Yeah. And I can go do something else. Yeah. Like someplace else. Yeah. And maybe I can be a better version of myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well and that's the thing because he can still make money. Yeah. It may not be the longevity of the contract. Yeah. It may not be twenty five mil, but I I mean he can still make money. He still got shoe brands. I mean shoe deals and yeah. brand deals and that's all true. this. So I'm like, you know, I I don't fault him for that. Yeah. Because you can still make the money, but money doesn't buy happiness, as we yeah. always say. It does help. Yeah. But then buy it. So I'm glad that he's like, yo, my, I, I want to have fun again. Yeah. You know what I do enjoy about this episode and about the season as a, as a whole? It's There's not an exact right answer to mm. a lot of the questions mm. that have been posed. You know, there's a, there's a lot of playing in the gray. And I think one of the big ones released this particular episode is how people are responding to the contract. Mm. You know, like how his teammates are responding as they should be in their feelings. I'm not mad at that, mm -hmm. you know, but it also puts, it also shines the light on Magic and being like, you know, him answering the question as well. Like, well, would you not take the money? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just not get paid in order to make you happy? Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. how are we gonna like work past this? You know, so I, I, I do like, it does pose the question to make us think like, dang, well, how would I respond in that kind of situation? Yeah, and I like that too, because like I said, it's, it's interesting though, because a lot of times they don't have the conversations like fully or yeah. even like with the team because you know we saw cooper trying to have the conversation with him like yo you know this is what it looks like to us how are we supposed to respond blah 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 mm -hmm. but they never really had like a full conversation like magic was never said hey i understand if you were in my situation you wouldn't you do the same thing right. but you're not and i am so how can we figure this out right right and yeah. so another thing like that that you that you said where it's like in the gray kind of is like for me as much as I despise Paul, mm -hmm. despise, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I get his side of things in uh -huh. terms of being the head person in charge mm -hmm. uh, under bus. Let's just get that right right now. Mm -hmm. He's under bus, but he is the coach. He's the leader of the team. He's the leader of the team. Yep. He just doesn't lead well. So, I mean, so I get both sides of it. Well, and he's full of himself. And I think there was an interesting moment when he got a chance to meet his old coach. Mm -hmm. And his old coach, he knows who he really is. Yeah. And he's like, you over here living like, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. He's like, you over here living this life, you know, partying all the time. Yeah. And you're in these newspapers. He's like, bro, I, that's not you. Yeah. That ain't you. Yeah. Your coaching style is barely even you. And I'm going to expose you. Yeah. He, just got, he just got lucky and won. Yeah. But I think in that moment... Uh, Paul realized, he's like, oh, I really might be kind of exposed, but it still wasn't enough. He still took that moment and was like, but I beat you, so I'm going to go back and dive in even deeper into yep. the fugaziness of himself. Yeah, I think he's trying to be who he 
wants to be seen as yeah. or who he wants to be, right. but he's not doing it well. No. Like he, his, his true identity yeah. is still uh, peeking his way out and mm-hmm. he's just, I don't, I don't really respect him and nobody really does. And I think that's part of the, <laughs> part of the problem. Yeah. And I don't even know him, but yeah. I don't, I'm an outsider looking in and yeah. I don't respect him. I mean, yeah, there's even that moment where you get a chance to get a, like a litmus test of, on, on where he stands. Mm-hmm. And, and that moment was when he approached Kareem. Oh, and you know yeah. he's like this, this. The team doesn't respect you. The system yeah. doesn't respect you. This, yeah. that, and the third. That's horrible. And Kareem was like, "I ain't trying to buy into none of that. Yeah. I'm gonna just play my contract. Yeah. I'm gonna play here because my contract says to play here, and I'm gonna leave it at that." You know, he tried to, yeah, to, to, to bait him into that and go. He tried to goad him. Yeah. You know, and Kareem was like, "I'm not buying that. Dog. I'm, I'm gonna sit here with my contract, and that's that." I think the voice of reason on the team is Cooper. Mm. To me, he's the voice of reason. And he even kind of like embarrassed Cooper. And he's like, go get magic and don't come back here yeah. unless you do. Yeah. It's like, dude, that that if there's anybody that you want on your side regarding like the, the voice of logic and mm-hmm. reason is Coop. And mm-hmm. you disrespecting him too. Mm-hmm. It's like, nah, dude, you you you're you're almost unredeemable. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it also I did it did come back to me. It also showed true that, you know, the respect thing, uh, when the old coach and the Lakers were meeting up again. <laughs> yeah. And he was hugging everybody, yeah. everybody smiling, yeah, it's everybody so laughing. Long, kids. And I think that, that <laughs> and I think that, that reminded them of the respect. It reminded them of the having fun and, and you know, yeah. being able to be yourself on in a team environment, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's like being a spoke on the wheel versus like being the entire wheel. I can't think of how yeah. I was trying to say what I was about to say. But anyway, they're each individual parts to a whole versus like just being a whole. Right. And right. I and I think that the old coach respected that and knew that and that made them happy and have fun and win. Whereas the other coach, Paul, just don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. There's I'm gonna have one more piece and then I'm gonna, we're gonna address some of the questions that you guys have on some of the previous episodes. I think there's an interesting parallel uh regarding like the love that G D Bus is trying to have for her father. Mm-hmm. And now there's this new person here that's taking all of the time the love and the attention that she thinks that she should be getting and to me it feels a bit like the relationship between magic and the organization like okay. you've got this person who's coming in here that's got this big gigantic contract just like the the woman that's coming into Honey. into uh, jerry's uh jerry's life the contract is being the ring and the relationship mm. and it feels like the team who is genie is like where do I fit mm. with with all of this? At least okay. that's the parallel that I took from it. Let me know what, what you think. I, 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 could I could be, see that. I, mean, no, I, mean, I could see that. I bit. didn't think that, but I could see that. Um, so this was uh, one of my one of our favorite parts about this is addressing some of the comments that everybody had to say. From the uh, last episode. Yeah, from the last yeah. episode. Um, we'll start with this one. I'll start with the first one. Okay. Uh, this one came from a JX Champ who said, I grew up in the 80s hating the Lakers because I lived in New England. <laughs> so great to get an episode focused on Larry. Can't wait to see him vanquish the evil Lakers <laughs> in 84. <laughs> hey, listen, just because somebody's uh, somebody's a favorite of team doesn't mean it's everybody's favorite team and you have somebody who is a Boston fan. Well, the best part New is England. the Lakers isn't my favorite yeah, team, but no. I do enjoy the show. <laughs> you know, and I did enjoy seeing the Larry Bird episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll say this too. Like, I'm not a Boston fan, and I, and I said this previous times in other episodes. Well, I wasn't the world's biggest Larry Bird fan, but I respected him as a player. You know, his mm-hmm. game is the game is what the game is. Mm-hmm. I think this show is kind of like that. Whether you like the Lakers or not, you know, it's an interesting story and it's good enough for you to pay attention regardless of who the team can Well, be. yeah, and they're definitely not hyping the Lakers, that's yeah. for sure. No, so, no, yeah, no. so it's not yeah. like a oh, all hail the Lakers type of show. Yeah, that's true. Um uh BK Boy2384, thank you for your comment. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh this show is great. Ten years from now, people will realize it. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I, I hope I, so. I think that's really important to state because I don't think this show is getting enough buzz as compared to some of other uh hbo's other projects that yeah. they've done i don't think so you either. know like like our close-knit group of friends are, are watching it but you know they're also like basketball heads and people that are like you know oh, all, yeah. all in on projects like this but i i don't really see a lot of like advertisements for oh, it or anything. ever since the first season like when it first came out yeah. i haven't seen anything yeah i didn't even know the second season was out till i saw it advertised on hbo and and i think this season is so far it's starting off even better than the first season so for me personally yeah i could see that okay uh, this one comes from in luna 75 thank you for contributing uh said uh this was a great episode larry and his father were really close he uh he had ptsd from the korean war and mm. he never really got over it which is why he did what he did mm. it's a really sad story that makes you feel sad for larry mm. in the beginning norman magic had issues but after 81 they became really close not mm. only with each other but with coop as well 
I can't wait for the last four episodes as there's still a lot of drama ahead for the Lakers. I believe that. Yeah. I think there's going to be way more drama before there's any kind of resolution. Yeah. But it's interesting that they commented that they become closer in 81, and this was in 81. Mm. So I'm like, well, what's going to happen? It's now just, I yeah. know there's something going to be. Yeah. But 81, they were in November already. So I can't. So they don't really have a lot of time to. But anyway, yeah, we don't know. I we don't know how this is going to unfold. Yeah, with, I with how and how accurate this is. Let's, let's, yeah, let's that's be real. That's true. because they do take liberties. Yeah, let's this, be real. Let's this be real. is a Hollywood yeah, project, yeah. so there's some liberties we're taking. <laughs> Um, at Timothy Langston 3560. Hey, OG, what's uh, going yeah, on with you? I feel You've like been around I've seen you comment on yeah. a lot of things. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Uh, we enjoy your comments always. Man, I just realized that Red is played by Chickless. Ah, uh, yeah, Man, Michael what Chickless. A stud. Yeah. Man, what a stud. Who is. Uh, he's been in a bunch of stuff. Um, who is Red and who is Chickless? Red is the <laughs> owner. <laughs> Red is the owner of the Boston oh, Celtics. Oh, Boston, yeah. Right, okay, right? the little short dude. And uh, Michael Chiklis has been in the game in, a, in the in the in the for acting game for a time. minute. Yeah, okay. he's, he's the ball headed dude yeah. that's been in. Uh, oh my gosh. I okay, so I know who I know who right Red now. is now, but Chiklis. I mean, if I see what he's been in, I probably recognize him. But right now, I have no idea. Yeah, hold on, let me find out. Okay, so. but that, that's fascinating, though. Man, what a stud! What a stud! <laughs> he walking around talking cash ish to uh, bus. Yes, I love their rivalry. Oh, you, you, you and me both. Yeah, they um, have they have some good conversation and banter, and it just tickles me to know. Well, like he was like he was telling, uh, what's his name, uh, Larry Bird. He's like, get in there and bust him up real quick. He was like, yo, I was waiting for you to say <laughs> he that. He was like, yo, he was like, I don't care about no preseason. You ain't gonna get injured. Let's just let's just show him how it's about to be. Oh, I cannot find. Um, I can't just type his name in at the top. Um, let's see, Chicklis. Yeah, C H I K L I S. C H I K L I S. L I S. Yep. Chickless. Yeah, Michael, Michael Chickless. Yeah. Oh, he's been the in a shield. lot of stuff. That's the one I was trying to think of the name oh, of the the one, the big one that he really blew up. He's been in a lot of stuff. Fantastic yeah. Four. When the he's shield, on the shield, Fantastic Four. He was the thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't look. Oh, don't look up. John Bronco, Coyote. Duck, okay. But yeah. the shield, the oh, shield sorry, is were the right. one that that like that you know when he like really blew up. Yeah. On. Well, yeah. now that I see him younger and with no hair, yeah. I definitely recognize him. <laughs> Uh, this one comes from um, uh, Matthew W. Lerma, 7248. Thank you so much. Uh, I didn't even know about season one, but I'm all caught up now. Thanks nice. for doing these reactions. This is a top five YouTube channel for me. Oh! Thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. That's what I'm talking about. This you is a good show, though. Yeah, it is. Check out all our other reactions <laughs> to our other shows. They're really good, too. Um, they, uh, Anthony underscore Rizzle Neck. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your comment. Hey, HBO Max, it's time to start a new series called Celtic Pride 100. <laughs> I did wear my green today. No, uh, I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. don't know if I want to see the Celtics. No, yeah. let me stop saying that. Let me stop saying well, that. If it's interesting, if it's interesting, I'll watch well, it. Well, this isn't called Lakers Pride. No, and it wouldn't but... surprise me either. <laughs> You know, it, it wouldn't surprise me if if it was like wildly successful. It yeah. would be it would be con the, uh, considered to be like a spinoff. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing you know watching Larry Bird's character kind of the, the the actor that's playing Larry Bird is doing such a tremendous job. I would watch well, a no, Boston here's show the based thing. on him. I would watch it, but um, it would have to be like you said, as well written and well yeah. you know in, as, as interesting and have all the dynamics of the organization versus yeah. it just being about like Larry. Yeah. Celt well, that's why you said Celtics. So anyway, yeah. I would watch it. Well, it's a good place to kind of stick a pin in this bad boy. Thank you so much for <laughs> tuning in. I know you already uh, checked out uh, the, the little quick ad regarding some of the Patreon if you want to see it, you know, all uncut and all that good stuff. Hey, thank you so much. I'm here with the uh, beautiful Michael Claire. Let them know how they can get in contact with you. Uh, Snooty Vegans on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Mm, mm. All along, easy peasy, link in the description. Yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscription button. And of course, give us that thumbs up. So that's how my people know you're digging what we're giving you. So that being said, we will catch you all on the next episode. Peace.